our regular episode will come a little late this week. For right now, this is Podcast Blackout. We may not be able to do a lot, but we can do this. Other shows are reading a list of victims of hate crimes, black people slain by police violence, people like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery. But we want to reach out to people who feel angry and sad and helpless and want to do something but don't know where to start. This is for you. You want to help somebody right now? Good. Do you live in or near a city where protests happen this week? Look online to see if local organizations have started a legal fund for arrested or injured protesters. Maybe they need money. Maybe they need household supplies or food. You won't know until you look. Support local Black-owned businesses. If you can, donate to the ACLU, Black Lives Matter, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Black Visions Collective. There are a lot of organizations doing amazing work. They're all out there for you to find. Consider setting up a monthly donation so that the organization you choose can depend on you for continued support. But this isn't all that you're going to do. You can do so much more in the days to come. The first thing you're going to do is listen. Listen more, talk less. This isn't a time to show off how liberal you are. This isn't about you. Listen to the words of the marginalized. If you have a platform, use it to amplify their voices. If you don't know who to listen to, what to read, where to find it, stop. Google. You can find it yourself. Don't pester the already exhausted people around you. Next, stop yourself from saying things like, I can't believe something like this could happen, or when did we become this kind of country? The fact that you didn't see it before now means you were in a bubble of privilege. It's not your fault. You didn't create it. But it helps nobody to advertise now how clueless you've been. Because, remember, it ain't about you. But the single most important thing you're going to do may be the hardest for some people. Get to know your neighbors, especially the ones who aren't white. And if you don't have non-white neighbors, you've got your work cut out for you. Because first, you need to think about why that is. Make actual black friends and not token ones. Get to know people as people. And then, once you've done some of that work, you'll really notice the other white people around you saying dumb shit. Teach them. They'll listen to you. I'm going to link some things in the notes. Look for them. You managed to find this recording, so you can find that too. Just some stuff to flip some switches in your brain. Don't drown yourself in it. You're not going to solve systemic institutionalized racism today. Deep breath. You care. That's a really good start. You're going to find the way that you can make an impact on the day-to-day lives of the people around you. It's going to be great. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You can do it. We can do it. This is our chance to make everything right, but it's only going to work if we all pitch in and do our part. Now let's get to work.